In this problem, we have a ring of charge, but now we're off the plane of the ring. So I'll draw my ring of charge like this, and this ring actually is sideways to the page. And the radius of the ring, it's a very thin ring, is capital R. And the distance out to where we want the electric field here at point P is X. So we divide the ring into little bits of charge, DQ. And the distance from DQ to our point where we want the electric field is R. And the electric field due to that DQ points down this way. And it has components. So if I define that to be theta, the x component of dE would be dE cos theta. And the y component, in this case, would be dE sine theta. Now, this electric field vector dE, as I sweep around the ring, actually forms a, a cone of vectors. So the, the dE vectors would look like this as I go around that ring. And so all the y components would cancel, the x components would add. So when I go to integrate to get my total electric field, integral of dE, which is just e, I only need to integrate dEx. And that would be i hat. DEY would cancel to zero. <clears throat> so this integral would be zero. And so what I'm needing to do is simply integrate DE cos theta. Okay. And so DE is the usual K DQ over R squared. And now I have a cos theta. So r, little r, as I move around that ring, remains constant. So I can pull that out of the integral. Theta, as I move around the ring, also remains constant because I'm just rotating about that x-axis. And so cos theta can come out of the integral. And so I'm left with the integral of dq. Well, the integral of dq is just sum of all the elements of charge around the ring, which is just the total charge q. Oops, I lost my i hat. So I have k cos theta i hat q for the total charge over r squared, which is the result. But I haven't been given theta or r in my problem, so I need to get rid of them and put everything in terms of capital R and x. So I can see from the geometry that cos theta is equal to x over r, and r is the square root of x squared plus r squared. Similarly. I need to get rid of r, which is also in the expression. OK, so subbing those into electric field, I get k. Instead of cos theta, I write x over the square root. I still have my i hat. I still have my q. And instead of r squared, I write x squared plus r squared. So gathering together those bottom terms and making this look a little nicer, I have k x over x squared plus r squared to the three halves. And that's our final result.